was taken to the ER. Head wound. Probably not going to make it. Yeah, just our luck. We got the cashier there. Customer there under the rack. CSU ID her as Linda Bowers, according to her wallet. Worked in a bakery on Green. And Irving Marks owns the joint. Opened less than a year ago. Rough business. Who found her? A sales clerk. She was uh, bringing back lunch. Where is she now? Hospital. Should have seen her. She ID'd the uh, cashier before she went mental on us. Well, speaking of, did anybody check the till? CSU did. A couple hundred bucks and change. Any witnesses? Nobody so far. Keep asking. Vintage clothing. I wonder if anybody actually makes a living selling this stuff. Apparently not. I think I see one of my old bowling shirts. Bad day for the Irish, eh, Lenny? Long time. <laughs> What's the matter, Mickey? Not enough crime in Brooklyn for you? Yeah, no goodies like this one. Your basic violent misanthrope gone berserk with some kind of sword. Sword? I mean like Zorro. His deep stab wounds, wild slash and gash. James Smith. He always tells me I shall return. You know, like MacArthur, because I'm Filipino. How often does he return? Uh, according to this, he hasn't for a couple of months. Did something happen to him? No, he happened to somebody else. What's his drug of choice? Risperidone and carbamazepine for schizophrenia. He's supposed to take it every day or watch out. But his world and ours don't revolve around the same sun? Not even in the same galaxy. Most of your schizophrenics don't get violent, but they never told that to Mr. Smith. When he visits the planet, where does he stay? As of a year ago, he was staying at the Dono Arms on Broadway. But mail we sent there was returned, moved, no forwarding address. Okay, let's try this. When he showed up for his pills, how would he verify his identity? With his New York Public Library card. This isn't the CIA, Jim. This is the 27th precinct of the New York City Police Department. You understand that? <laughs> it's a hell of a system. It's a hell of a system. They drive touch tone dialing to work and they're still hungry. Right. I give up. <clears throat> the right to represent oneself is not absolute, Your Honor. It can't be asserted by someone who is clearly incompetent. Mr. Smith, isn't it a fact that you have a history of mental illness, that you've been diagnosed as having schizoaffective disorder? Yes, Your Honor. Since I was 23 at college, I am uh, prone to manic depression, hallucinations, paranoid delusions, and many other kinds of uh, psychotic behavior, unless I'm taking my medication. And you're currently doing that? Yes, since my arrest. This is the same person who claimed the police were CIA agents. If you let him represent himself and we convict, he'll appeal and say that he was denied competent representation. Absolutely not, Your Honor. I am a lawyer. University of Michigan Law School, class of 87, admitted to the New York Bar in 88 in the first department, as were Your Honor and Mr. McCoy, I believe. There's no guarantee that he won't suffer another psychotic break during the trial. We'll all be back where we started. Your Honor, I can stand here all day and quote People versus Carlton Beck versus Connie versus Harris versus Sawyer, unless Mr. McCoy can establish at this very moment that I am incompetent, the court has no choice but to allow me to proceed pro se. He's absolutely right, Mr. McCoy. Aren't you the least bit sorry about the people you killed? Yes, I am, Mr. McCoy. But that wasn't me. I'm not that creature. And I'm not taking the rap for what he did. Do you think there's something wrong with you? <laughs> yes. I've seen the MRIs and the PET scans. My brain doesn't look like yours, Doc. So you accept the fact that you have an illness? I realize it, but I certainly don't accept it. Then I'm curious why you'd stop taking your medication. Didn't you know your symptoms would come back? In one form or another. You knew you'd attacked people in the past. Yes, in the past. Did you care? Have you ever been on an antipsychotic drug? No. I'm using every ounce of energy I have right now just to talk to you. 
I feel like I'm pawing through a wool blanket. I feel stiff and half a step behind everyone. It takes so much effort. I get so damn tired just holding on to reality. Letting go, it's almost a relief. Doctor, isn't it a fact I killed those people in broad daylight, in a public place? Yes. I didn't dispose of the murder weapon. I didn't wash the blood off of my clothes. No. As a psychiatrist, might you conclude from my behavior, I didn't know what I was doing was wrong. Yes, I probably would, but the issue is your decision to stop taking your medication. Let's talk about that. Is it possible my decision was made under duress from the powerful side effects you described? Yes, it's possible. Under duress, how could I be expected to predict my future psychotic behavior? Mr. Smith, you're intelligent, perceptive. You know far more about your disease than any psychiatrist. Miss Kincaid's intelligent. She couldn't predict my behavior. She didn't think I was dangerous. She let me off with a fine. Why should I be held to a higher standard than she? Objection. Withdrawn. No more questions. He said he tried so hard to stay on his medicine so he could get a job as a teacher or a lawyer. But nobody wanted him because he was sick. He said there was no point in taking his medicine. He said he didn't belong anywhere. He was afraid of what would happen to him when our parents died. He rented the apartment so he could jump off the balcony. You're required to allocute to your crime. Would you please tell this court what you did? I, fo I followed Linda Bowers to a clothing store on Prince Street. I, be I believe she was plotting to hurt me. I waited f for her to come out. She was taking too long, so I went inside. A man came toward me, and I became afraid, and I stabbed him with a bayonet I had with me. Then I st This paper's full of needles. They cut me, and I bleed. And... <sighs> Do you hear those chariots? They stole them from me. They, they want me to sleep. <laughs> they like that. That's why I killed her. I heard what Deborah said unto Barack, the Lord shall discomfit me. But that's... Mr. Smith? Mr. Smith? Well, you're looking at me. I made them do that. <laughs> Pancakes. Mr. Lowe, please. My you look like a lion. Don't do that, or I have to leave. Mr. Smith, sit down. Mr. Lowe. Oh, wait, wait. They took my armor. I need my armor. I absolutely can't wear this. Mr. Smith, no. deal with your Listen armor to me. when we're done. Now, please sit down. I'm sitting down now. I'm sitting down now. I'm sitting. I'm s I am sitting down now. Your Honor. I am sitting Mr. McCoy. Now. I'm sitting. The people are satisfied that the defendant has met the requirements. I'm sitting down. Then in accordance with the plea agreement, I'm I sentence the defendant to a term of not less than six years, no more than 18, at a facility to be determined by the Department of Correction. This court is adjourned.